Hi Tigers, Mr. Nelson here. Good afternoon. Mate, are you all being good for your parents? You should be. We're here to do our Tiger class. So let's get started. Stand in your attention position. Feet together, hands by your side. Do a bow. And let's get warmed up before we do all our super exercises for today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 10 star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do ten more, but we're going to do them a little bit faster. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Right, now we're going to do ten whilst counting in Korean. Are you going to count with me? Let's all count. Ready? Hana, go, set, net, dust, yos, il, yor, al, yo. Very nice. Let's speed up again. Hana, do, set, net, dust, yos, il, yor, al, yo. Perfect. Jimmy. So, everyone step out onto your horse, one arm out into a middle punch. We're going to do one count, one punch, one loud count. Hey! I'll be ready. Let's do them nice and fast. I'll count in English first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Now we're going to do ten more, but I'm going to count in Korean. Ha! Do! Set! Net! Das, yos, el, yoru, aho, yo. Very good. Now we're going to do 10 more, slightly quicker. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more as fast as we can now, because I still think we can go quicker. Ha, do, set, ne, das, yos, el, yoru, aho, yo. Oh, they were really quick. No. Very nice. Right. Next thing we're going to do is just a tiny bit of stretching. So, stand in your attention position. Did you all say attention position, sir? You should have done. Show me your ready position. Feet slightly apart, hands out in front of you. Now, look at your feet. Double the distance between your feet. Reach up, touch the ceiling. Reach down, touch the floor. And come up, touch the ceiling. Reach down, touch the floor. And then come up, touch the ceiling, reach down, touch the floor. And come up, reaching as high as you can now. I want you to put both hands on one foot. Go. And come up, reach up, both hands on the other foot. And come up, reach up. Now I want you to put one hand on each foot, so left hand on your left foot, right hand on your right foot, go. That's it. Are you all doing it? Oh, very nice. And reach up, touch the ceiling. Reach down, touch the floor, and this time, what I want you to do is walk forward on your hands, like you've been a tiger. That's it. Now, lie down flat, make your chin touch the floor, push back up, and walk your hands back in. Then all you're going to do is reach up and touch the ceiling. Let's do it again. Reach down, touch the floor. Walk on your hands like a really mean tiger. Lie down. Push back up. Walk back in. And then reach up, touch the ceiling. One more time. Reach down, touch the floor. Walk your hands forward. Lie down. Push back up. And walk back in. There we go. Reach up, touch the ceiling. Very nice, give your arms and legs a shake. Oh, working hard already. Right, jump in your ready position. Everyone put one leg back with a nice loud shout. Go, hey! We're gonna do some bog standard leg raising first and then we're gonna add a little bit of fun in. So we're just gonna do six. Ready? One, two, swing that leg as high as you can. Three, four, Five, six, hey! Change over your legs. Oh, I don't think that was quick enough. Change over them back. Ready? Change over your legs. Change over your legs. Change over your legs. Let's do some more leg raises. Ready? One, hey! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six. Hey, ready? You're gonna change over your legs. Change. Ooh, that was super fast. Right, this time when we do the leg raise, like we did before, where you swing your leg up as high as you can, what I want you to do is clap your hands underneath your leg. Let's do six of them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Change off your legs. Six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Ready position, attention position. Did you all say attention position, sir? You should have done. Give me a good bow and have a relax for a second. Right, ready position. Next part of the warm up is look down at your feet. You should be underneath your shoulders. What I want you to do is double the distance and you're just gonna bend one knee so that you're facing one way. Most of you all know this is a front lunge. We're doing a front lunge. Very nice, we're just gonna hold that for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Twist to face the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Twist back. One, two, three, four, five. Twist again. One, two, three, four, five. Now this time when we twist, we're gonna add a Spider-Man into it. So you're gonna shoot out and you're gonna shoot, imagine you're shooting Spider-Man webs. And we can even make the sound effect, which in my head is psh, psh. So let's do some Spider-Mans. One, psh, two, psh, three, psh, four, psh, five, psh, six, psh, seven, psh, eight, psh, nine, psh, ten. Psh. Now this time we're gonna add a jump. So when we do it, jump, ooh, don't fall over that. Feet off the air, feet in the air, off the floor, twisting round. So we're gonna do some jumps. Let's do some jumps, team, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Ready position, the tension position, do me a good bow. To me, right, for this exercise we need to be laid down on our tummy. So I'm gonna lie down sideways so you can see what we're doing. So, lie down on the floor, arms and legs flat out, you want your arms in front of you, legs flat on the floor, and for this exercise all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our legs and our hands off this floor. But we're gonna do it at the same time. Okay, I call this the Superman. You're gonna do more Superman. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shout Superman and then you've got to hold it there and then I'll tell you to relax. So this is a practice one, okay? Ready? Superman. And relax. Right, let's do it for real now. Ready? Superman. Relax. Superman. Relax. Superman. Relax. Superman. Relax. Superman. Relax, and for this last one, we're gonna try and hold it as long as we can. Ready? Superman. Make the noises of flying if you want. And relax. And stand back up again. Show me your attention position, and give me a good bow. This time, we're gonna do some tuck jumps. So, get back in your position where you're on the floor. Hands touching the floor, crouch down as low as you can. Your bum is nearly scraping the floor. Now we're gonna do some tuck jumps. So the way we do a tuck jump is, when we're in the air, we don't just leave our legs to dangle down underneath us. What we need to do is tuck them up and try and make them touch our bellies. So let's do six, yeah. Ready? One, tuck your legs up, two, and don't forget, Hands on the floor, three, four, five, 
five, six. Very good. Tension position, jaw bow. Right, time for the next part of the lesson. For this part of the lesson, we're going to practice some self defense, but we're just going to do it on the air. So, ready position. Nice and strong. And all I want you to do is to put one hand behind your back. Whichever hand is in front of you, imagine someone's grabs you. Could be a mean, bad person. A super villain. Let's say a super villain, yeah. And the first thing we're going to do whenever someone grabs you is we're going to ask them to please let go. So everyone ask, please let go. Did you all ask, please let go? I'll be checking with mums and dads that you asked, please let go. So let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Please let go. And you never know, they might let go, but what if they don't? If they don't and we've asked them to please let go, we need to tell them to let go now. Let's all say let go now together. Ready? One, two, three. Let go now. Oh, and what if they still not let go? This is when we do our moves. So the move we're going to do today is we're going to open our hand as wide as we can. We're going to step out to the side and we're going to imagine we're waving at them. Okay, we're going to lift our hand up and round and we're going to bring it back to our shoulder. Like we were doing the low block before. From there, you're going to chop them in the neck and then you're going to use both hands to give them a big push in the chest and then we're going to run away. But it's very important when we run away to shout Help stranger. So everyone run on the spot. And we're all going to shout help stranger. Ready? One, two, three. Help stranger! Or is it loud enough though? You need to shout as loud as you can. So let's give it another go. So, hand out in front of you. Ask them to please let go. One, two, three. Please let go. Now we need to tell them to let go. Ready? One, two, three. Let go now! Now we need to do our moves. Open your hand, step to the side, bring it up and over, chop them in the neck, push them in the chest, run away, shout, help stranger! Help stranger! Oh, very nice. Right, let's do it again. One last time for good luck. Hand out in front of you. Ask them to please let go. Did you ask please let go? Let's ask them again to be extra sure. Ask to please let go. Please let go. Now we need to tell them. Ready? Let's tell them. One, two, three. Let go now. Now we need to do our moves. Open the hand. Step. Up and round. Chop. Push. Run. And shout, help stranger. Help stranger. Very nice. Attention position. And bow. Tell me you're in position. Now we're going to learn the blocks that we're learning this time around. We're going to give it a go. So you should all be in your ready position. Feet underneath your shoulders, hands out in front of you. And the block we're learning this time around is the low block. So those of you who've done the low block before should already be experts. Those of you who aren't, this is how we do it. The first thing we're going to practice is the motion. So you take one hand, wrap it up around your body and put it on your shoulder. Then from there, you're going to swing it back down. Lift it up to your shoulder, swing it back down. Up to your shoulder, Swing back down. We're going to do that ten times. Ready? One. Shoulder. Back. Two. Shoulder. Back. Three. Shoulder. Back. Now we can start getting a little bit quicker. Four. Shoulder. Back. Five. Shoulder. Back. Six. Shoulder. Back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now, we need to do it on the other arm now. So, you're going to lift that hand up to your shoulder. Wrapping it around your body, you're going to swing it back down. Up to your shoulder, swing it back down. Right, let's do ten. We're going to do ten properly though. Ready? One, shoulder, down. Two, shoulder, down. Three, shoulder, down. Four, let's get quicker. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, we're going to use our first arm again. But for this one, the arm we're not blocking with is going to be tucked up on our ribs. So you want to be in this position. Then we just lift our hand up to our shoulder, lock back down. Shoulder, lock back down. Let's do 10. Ready? One, two. We're going quick because you're already experts. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, swap over your arms. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Right, we're now going to put the two together. So, I'm going to take a, oh no, I don't need to take a small step back for this one. We'll take a small step back in a minute. So, ready position. For this one, we're going to do, is you're going to lift your hand up to your shoulder, and as you swing it back down, you're going to pull your other hand back to your ribs. So, it's going to look like this. Can we all do that? Up to your shoulder. You do the block as your other hand comes to your ribs. Let's do ten. Ready? One. Shoulder. Block. Ready position. Two. Shoulder block. Ready position. Three. Shoulder block. Ready position. Four. Shoulder. Ready. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Very nice. Right. Ready position. We need to use our other hand. So, remember, it comes up to your shoulder, and as you do the block, your other hand is pulled back, nice and quick to your ribs. Ready? One. Ready position. Two. Ready position. Three. Ready position. Four. Ready? Five. Ready? Six. Ready position. Seven. Shoulder block. Ready position. Eight. Ooh, that was loud. Ready? Nine. Last one. Make it good. Ten. Very good. Ready position. Now we're going to do five more on each side, but we're going to have a step in. I know this is a lot of low blocks, so I'm going to take a step back that I tried to do before. I'm going to be in my ready position. And as I lift my hand up to my shoulder, my legs don't move. But as I do the block and my other hand comes back to my ribs, that's when I do the step. And look, it finishes over my leg. I'm not doing this. Okay? Stops up on my leg because I'm a ninja and I'm strong. Ready position. Let's do five. One, shoulder, step and block. Ready position. Two, shoulder, step block. Ready? Three. Ready? Make sure we're stepping. Four. Ready? And a nice big step. Five. Ready position. Now, other arm of the leg. Let's do five more. Let's crack through it because we're all experts. One. Big step though, it's ready position. Two. Ready, don't step too early. Three. Ready, four, block nice and fast. Ready, last one, five. Perfect, ready position. Attention position, and give me a bow. Ready position, put one leg back behind you. All we're gonna do is spin our leg forward, and spin it all the way back. Spin it forwards, spin it all the way back. Let's do five. Ready? One, two, out, and back. Three, out, and back. Four, out, and back. Last one, five, out, and back. Very good. Change over your legs. Let's do five more. Ready? One, spin, and spin back. Two, spin, spin back. Three, spin, and come all the way back. Four, last one, five. Now, change over your legs. What you've just done there is a roundhouse kick. So, well done team. Right, now it's time to do our combination. So, have one leg back. We're now gonna do a punch, a punch, and a roundhouse kick. So it's gonna look like this. If I go slightly sideways on, we're gonna go punch with one arm, punch with the other arm, and do a roundhouse kick with our back leg. Punch, punch, roundhouse kick. Punch with one arm, punch with the other arm. Use your back leg, roundhouse kick. Let's do that six times. Ready? One, punch, punch, roundhouse kick. Very good. Two, punch, punch, roundhouse kick. Very nice. Three, punch, punch, roundhouse kick. Let's speed up now. Four, punch, punch, roundhouse kick. 
Five, punch, punch, round and skip. And this one, as fast as you can. Ready? Go! Pow! Very good. Change over your legs. Let's do six more. Ready? One. Punch, punch, back leg, round and skip. Very nice. Two. Punch, punch, round and kick. Three. Punch, punch, round and kick. Let's keep it going, team. Four. Punch, punch, round and kick. Going quicker now. Five. Punch, punch, round and kick. Last one as fast as you can. Go! Punch, punch, round and kick. Very good. Ready position, attention position, and do me a bow. Right team, welcome back to our challenge section. So, do you all remember the last lesson that you did with me? We did a challenge, didn't we? We did some star jumps, we did some push-ups, and we did some squats. So, we're going to try and beat our scores from last week. So, go, quick, run, try and get the scores off the fridge, off mum and dad. Try and remember where they are. If you don't, don't worry, you've just got to set yourself a new challenge. Right, the first thing we did last lesson with me was a star jump. You all remember star jumps, don't you? Star, attention position. So, do you remember? Try and find out your score. Try and remember it. And I want you to beat it by two. Are we ready? Lots of star jumps. Three, two, one, go! go. Let's keep it up. Let's keep moving. Come on, big stars. Big stars. Like you're trying to fly. Imagine your arms are wings. That's it, keep going. Keep going. That's it. Try and smack your legs. Make lots of noise. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Right, did you beat your score for star jumps? I hope you did, because now we're moving on to our next exercise. And the next exercise was squats. So stand in your ready position. Put your hands on your head. And remember, your bum goes down, tries and touch the floor, and then you stand back up. Remember, you've got to go quicker than me. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Let's keep going. Try and go as fast as you can. Don't just keep up with me. If you can, try and do more than me. Oh, that'd be good, won't it? If you do more than your teacher. Five seconds left. Let's do some more. Come on. Three, two, one, and stop. Right, that's all the squats. Again, did you beat your score? Oh. If you didn't, I'm going to wipe my finger at you. But I expect all of you did, so I should be wagging my finger at no one. Right, then the last exercise we did was a push-up. Now, you all remember a push-up, don't you? Yeah. So you're down on the floor, hands and feet on the floor, not your knees, not your belly, and you bend your arms, and then you push them back up. Which is why it's called a push-up, by the way, because you're pushing your body upwards. So, are we ready? Let's do 30 seconds of them, try and beat your score. But this time, I just want you to beat your score by one. If you do more than one, that's brilliant. Ready? Steady. Go! Now again, try and do more than me. I'm old, so I can't do many, and I'm lazy. But I'm going to try my best. That's what I want you all to do, is try your best. Now make sure your belly's not touching the floor. Make sure your knees aren't touching the floor. I'm running out of things to say in 30 seconds with that good. Three seconds left. And stop there. Right, that's the end of push-ups, team. Well done if you beat your score. Commiserations if you didn't, you can always try next week. And that's the end of our lesson. If you did beat your score, make sure you write down your new scores. Put them back on the fridge. Put them back with mum and dad. And I'll see you all in our next lesson. Attention position. And do a bow. Well done.